Howdy everybody, my name is Odinus, and welcome to Survival Arc Evolved. Now, uh, this is going to be a wonderful adventure that we're going on this evening, afternoon. I don't know when you're watching this, but I'm doing this in the evening. I am here today with a very special guest and a friend of mine who is the one named Queequeg up on that mammoth. His name is Dan Bernardo. How you doing there, Dan? Doing alright, Justin. How is everything going so far? Doing good. Where are we going today? Alright, now you give me too much credit when you say wonderful adventure. Basically, if you look over in that horizon, the direction I'm pointing right now, we're going to be heading up to a mountain over there. This is a major harvesting node for us for, for metal. Now, for those of you who haven't played Ark Survival Evolved, it's kind of like Minecraft with dinosaurs. You start off with pretty much nothing but the clothes on your back. I don't even think you start with those. Nope. Oh, yeah, you, you just die. Naked and afraid. Yep, yeah, like you were born. But the main idea is that we try to build some semblance of civilization and survive out in this wilderness. Now, we're off in, uh, for those of you who have played it, we're off in um, South Zone 3, if I'm not mistaken. We chose this area because it's near some decent harvesting nodes where we don't have to go too far. Now, obviously, some things are uh, easy to get. The wood can be chopped down for trees, the rocks can be mined for stone and flint, etc., etc., but some areas need oil, some areas have metal that we need to get, and a lot of those are oftentimes very dangerous. Laura, who you might know from a few episodes of Dice Checks, is our tribe leader, and she's gone through all sorts of all sorts of nightmares during a volcano and a cave and all that to try to get obsidian and metal. But this area here is going to be fairly easily accessed. It'll be the best one to get us started off, make a right turn here. <laughs> so we're going to do a little bit of a uh, caravan. Now, obviously, Justin has only started off recently. He's only level 10. The other guys I'm are just cool. along for the ride. Yep, and, and for witty commentary. Now, a um, few of us have gotten higher level. I have no idea what Laura is anymore, but she runs around with an assault rifle. And I'm fairly decent. I actually did a weird build. We may discuss that later, where I basically became the tribe's Aquaman. I put only points into my oxygen and underwater survivability. Which is kind of a problem, seeing as we're now out on land, where I'm weakest. Um, Sun, it is, it is your kryptonite. Exactly. Dryness. Um, so to make that easier, we've actually got a couple of tame dinosaurs with us. That's the other fun part of Ark. You have a whole bunch of ambient creatures out, some very much, very much elaborated on from the actual historic or scientific species. But you can see right now Dinus is on top of a, um, of a uh, Triceratops. I'm riding a woolly mammoth. And behind me is our little friend Melvin the Ankylosaurus. The reason I'm bringing him is because each of these dinosaurs have different natural abilities and uses. Now, Justin, do you see that bridge ahead of you? Yep. Yeah. That um, Laura already built to help ford the river back in the dark times when we had to fear about mega piranhas. Is it going to support this dinosaur's yes. weight? Okay, good. I'm pretty certain of that. Because we've done a we've done a trains with this, and I don't think weight is ever an issue. But I don't know patches have been brutal sometimes. You got this game during the winter, right? Were you out when everything was frozen solid? Uh, no, I was not, but I did hear the stories of, uh, Raptor Claws. Yes. It was actually a benevolent creature. It rode around on a, on a sleigh pulled by ancient prehistoric elks. I don't you, believe yeah. this for a second. I know, right? It, it, you, you don't want to believe that? Anyway, so, one of the things for those who are new to it, you can see on Justin's screen the heads-up displays. The bottom co right corner is everything involving him. In order from top to bottom, you've got the level up meter, you've got the encumbrance, underneath that you've got water, and then underneath that food, the lightning bolt is your stamina and energy, and finally the uh, cross is your health. You're going to have to manage a lot of these, so I've gone out of my way to bring a couple of things, um, things like uh, water skins or jars, we also make jerky and preserved meats that'll help us through. Well, the it's very simulationist. Kind of. Okay, so you see that up in the distance there? Uh, there's a fight going on up here. Yeah, that looks like a Carnosaur. Let me pull out a torch. 
Iron Sword. Okay. Oh, and Night's Fallen. This will be a weird time. So here's Weird and exciting. Yeah. We're basically at the foot of Metal Mountain to our left, so we can start pulling up along that. Most of the creatures... Okay. Okay, I think he's seen me. I think you're on, I you're on a him. you're on a mammoth. Of course, it can see you. I can take him. It's just a carnosaur. It's like a mini T Rex. He's not even good enough to be a T Rex. He's got the little derpy arms and the horns. Yeah. These are, these are <laughs> How does it even stand up? All right. If you want, I just dropped that thing. You can go over and oh oh, checking that dinosaur. That's a Dilophosaur. You have a history with those. Let me kill him. I you miss can hop Newman. off and hit that. Oh yeah, he's. Uh, for those of you who haven't played, the first thing Justin did besides get eaten by a couple of compies was tame a, uh... Okay, good, I chased them off. Was tame a uh, Dilophosaur named Newman after that reference in Jurassic Park. Incidentally, it turns out it was just an Avaraptor. Don't worry too much about them, they just steal eggs. Alright. There are worse things in life. He harvested the dead dino, you got some meat, you got some hide and so forth. Always yep. important. That stuff will expire over time, so we just have to be careful about it. Is that like Should a be. dinosaur hippo? I yep. Kind of. It's like a pig. I kept one as a... Oh, wow! Did not expect scorpions over here. Admittedly, I'm not the best for the party at knowing the terrain. I just know... All right. I'm gonna... I'm gonna personally hijack that one. Personally yeah. take that one down. Well, no, I mean, it's already dead. I'm just going to harvest it. Because I need a lot of chitin and various other materials. So pretty much everything you run into can be harvested for different purposes. And some things are the only source of certain objects. So, and some things are just naturally better at harvesting certain objects. For instance, um, the trike is really great at taking out trees and will collect a lot of thatch. That can be used to make... Um, Houses and so forth. It could be used for basic clothing and whatnot. Oh, no, no. Fiber is used for clothing. I also just burn it as a fuel source. It's been a while since I've actually needed to make things out of thatch. Oh, wow. I got a... I got a... Ooh. Yeah, those were some bugs. Okay. Good on you. Uh, that there's, well. there's still some left. Alright, I got them. Oh, yeah, no, you, you took them down. We're, you're good. This area is also what I'm going to be using to harvest... Okay, so bear with me. One of the things I absolutely need for the next level of crafting... There's something over there walking on two legs. Well, that just looks like a dodo. No, 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 no. Further up ahead. That way. Oh, 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 oh that's a that's a Bigfoot. Don't worry. Wait, that's Bigfoot? Well, a Bigfoot. It's, um... I'm really bad at the scientific terminology, but it's one of the uh, ancient giant apes. If you've been following the um, Jungle Book movie that they're releasing, nope. it's uh, their version of King Louie. You don't really want to fuck with him? Wait, we're not I don't want to fuck with him. I just want to look at him. I want to be his friend. Yeah. Uh, I forget exactly how we go about befriending those dudes, but it's not taming. Like, you have to give them, like, berries and such, and you have to prove that you're not a threat. They're good dudes. Apparently. Alright, so... It's a little dark out now, but we should be in good shape. Yeah, we got yeah. torches. All should be well. What we're going to be looking for around here are going to be big stones that are gold in color, like a pale yellow. Alrighty. Uh, let me know if I'm climbing over areas you can't quite reach, because I know he's got a big strike. Okay, good. You got yourself. I'm good. I can handle this. Yeah, Incidentally, no, that's not it. the bugs are going to be yeah, a fairly decent problem. Oh, got more incoming. Where? I don't even see him. Yeah. Is it true what they say about elephants and mice? Oh no, these are copies. Okay. Honestly, as as I'm on this thing, zoomed all the way out, I can't even tell what's attacking me. I just swing. Which is unfortunate because, oh, some of those bodies actually dropped. I could harvest those. Eh. Yeah, later. We're going to eventually do a, um, a saber-toothed tiger hunt at some point. They're better at harvesting those materials off oh, the Oh, there's a dude. There's a dude. Oh, it's just a Dilafo. You can hit this. Go for it. That's my favorite part about him. He's got a good knockback. Yeah. There we go. And you've now exacted petty revenge on the first creature that killed you besides Lebronto. Damn right. Well, to be fair, 
the first thing I did when I logged into this game was I saw a Brontosaurus and I said, I want to see what happens when I punch a Brontosaurus. You learned. By God, you learned. Oh. Very painfully, but yes, I learned. This higher peak over here, it looks like we may have passed it in the dark. But we're getting closer to where it is. Ah! See this stone here? Yep. This is what we're looking for. Over. Yeah. What I want you to do is hop on Melvin. Alrighty. Come here, Melvin. And then drive him over to the stone and then attack it. Alrighty. Wow, that worked out pretty yeah, well. Yeah, they are really, they are a far cry better than the little stone hatchet and things you start off with. Oh, yeah. I can't exactly remember how Laura found one of these, but it was far away. She actually had to ship it in by boat. <laughs> yeah. We'll do a water adventure at some point. All right, so let's keep Since moving Since that is around. your uh, forte. Exactly. One of our plans, for those viewers interested in it, where I'm... I've got a project in mind to eventually circumnavigate the entire island of this map. If you want to show them, you can bring it up in your uh, hotkeys. I think it's M. I'm not sure. M? No. You have it in your inventory at all times, technically. You have a map that you can always pull up, but it's not filled in. Yeah, it's not really an inventory slot. It's... Yeah. I, should I don't know where to find it. I'm one of those console dweebs. I actually just have a USB controller plugged into this because I couldn't handle it on keyboard. <laughs> oh, I think I found some more. Oh, right. wow, there's a couple over here. Yep. That's some of the best parts of this. Alright, let me go get Melvin. Oh, you notice his, uh... No, his... get back here, Melvin. Melvin! Oh, yeah, he's set to follow me. Okay, there you go. We also have some crystals over here, which we can hit down, too, if you want. Now, you'll notice his inventory is going to fill up quick. Because he doesn't have the same carrying capacity. That's why we're bringing Ivan with us. He's a workhorse, so I can pull a whole bunch of material. He's a mammoth. Yeah. Actually, that river All right. that we built. He's place. very slow. All right. Here you go. Access All right, I think I remember how to do this. Yeah, get in bit closer Access in between inventory? them. That way you, can, you aren't slowed down by it. Yeah, there right. you go. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get a face full of mammoth genitals. Yeah, I try not to think about that. Alright, I'm over encumbered. Yep. It doesn't take long. Now, um, as you level in Ark by crafting things, killing dinosaurs, etc., etc., you will be able to bump up these stats. So, for instance, my my health is at, I believe, 200, my stamina is at 200. My oxygen, which is how long you can stand or water before you die, is an improbable um, 600. You can stand or water for an in-game hour. Damn. Yeah. Um, don't worry so much about the stone. I just needed it off me. Oh, okay. Good point. Yeah, I'll drop those stone items. Oh, shoot. I'm too over-encumbered. I can't reach the mammoth. Oh, here, here. Mammoth, reach you. Uh, I I can't I I still can't reach the mammoth. Let's reach you. Uh, come on, there we go. Okay, perfect. We're good. All is well. Great. And we have a lovely 152 metal. That's beautiful. Ideally, on this trip, we can pull up about 600. All right. Yep. It takes a lot of resources to build something, doesn't it? Yeah, some things are just obnoxious. Um. I'm building, because I'm water themed, I'm building a lighthouse in the game, and we're going to eventually have a, a tree lighting ceremony, as it were. We're going to have a big party at the lighthouse once I have it completed to my specifics. And I decided I would get... So, the blueprints in here, the, um, the things you can craft are referred to as engrams. I decided to get the engram for the giant beer keg. It requires, I think, a hundred something cementing paste. A couple of things are pretty, pretty enormous. Okay, while you fill that up... Oh, crap. Oh, shoot. Cloud's moving. Okay. I'm on the mammoth now. I'm going to tell, uh... I'm going to tell Melvin not to follow me anymore. And I'm going to go grab, um... I'm going to go grab Colin so he doesn't get lost. 
That's probably for the best. I kind of left him behind a little bit. That happens. I try to be methodical in this game because it's so easy to get killed and lose stuff. First couple of games we played through. Um, one day I'll take you on the terrifying swamp adventure. The punchline is that movie Anaconda. Just all the time. The terrifying swamp adventure? Yeah, yeah. Not There's just a... any terrifying swamp adventure. Well, I figure we should only do one. Let's not get used to it after all. I got one over here you can harvest too once you're ready. Uh, I'm still trying to get all the stuff onto the mammoth. Oh, right, cool. Uh, out by it's out. all about positioning, and I keep landing on the wrong side. Oh, damn it. No worries. When in doubt, you have to walk underneath the mammoth. It's perfectly fine. I can't actually move. I'm over-encumbered with metal. <laughs> Alright, drop a little bit on to uh, Melvin again. I can't reach Melvin either. Wait, where are you? <laughs> oh, wait, I can reach Melvin. Okay, we're good. Don't worry. This animal is so big, I don't know where you are on it. I'm in the animal's other zip code, Dan. Okay. Now, these things, you want to talk big, there's... They've released a, um, Giganotosaurus, which apparently the T-Rex comes up to about its thigh or knee. And then they have, um... They've released a, uh... Or I think they're going to release a giant version of the Brontosaurus, too. I don't think they ever expected anyone to find these creatures useful. But you can bet your life that people are actually taming these on the other different servers. Because why not? There's a giant version of a um, a pteranodon, and people have used that thing as drop ships. Good. Okay. We're gonna keep an eye out because around this area usually we have some bugs. Which, okay, getting back to the circular story of it all. I went back to, um, to getting all that cementing paste. If I tame the gigantic bullfrog, it can eat bugs and produce cementing paste by eating the bugs. So if I just tame a giant bullfrog and bring it up to this hill where those ants and the giant dragonflies are, Theoretically, I have a much easier way to build it. There are many ways to get different things in this game. That's that's one of the big tricks. That's interesting. Yeah. It, it like, poops out cementing paste. I think. Or you just get it out of its inventory. Somehow. I try not to think of how. We've got a decent number going for us, so that's good. I'm gonna... Start pulling some of the extra strenuous things off of it. Melvin That's... can't move anymore. You might still have stuff on him. That's, that's the thing. His... Last I checked, his inventory was... There's nothing in his inventory. Maybe he's stuck on something. Hold on. He could be stuck on me. How's that? Melvin stuck on Band-Aid brand because Melvin stuck on me. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, good go. I'm going to whistle for Colin to follow us. So, be very careful with your hotkeys. You can do these commands like whistling to make the creatures attack for you or follow you. And one of the guys on our tribe back when we were very young, very early in the game, caused the Great Quake of 2000, or the Great Stampede of 2015. He leapt off the side of the cliff where our main ranch was built and accidentally called all the dinosaurs to follow after him. Oh, dear lord. What, what, it must have been like lemmings. It was... Yeah, from what I heard, it was horrible. <sighs> How does this dude keep getting stuck on Colin? He is what is his me problem? Yeah, here, let me... Close side and get Colin. There we thing. go. Yeah, they got really, um... They got really, uh, stickler for the collision detection in this game. I don't know if you can survive this. Well, let's find out. Good. Colin's, Colin's just jumping. I think Melvin's got a low enough center of gravity that it doesn't really matter. Yep. You find out a lot about how the different dinos work. Alright, 
Colin can no, Melvin can no longer move. Right, I'll bring Evan over to you. What's that? Ugh. I'm gonna find out what that was. Scary noises. Oh, it's a little monkey. I don't know how to get them to uh, follow me. But we can experiment. And if you have berries. Perfect. So, some of the ambient creatures here, a vast majority you have to just knock unconscious and then force feed berries until they are Stockholm Syndrome to you. That's how the taming works. Not a perfect system. But some of them, if you go up to them, you can give them things and they will befriend you. So maybe I can get this monkey to be my buddy. I don't know how it works. Okay. Ned. I heard like you might have to cover yourself in insect repellent so you don't smell, and then you give them fruits or something. It's it's a weird, it's a very long and circuitous path just to have a pet monkey. Incidentally, but is it worth it in the end? I don't know. I would like to believe that the developers of Ark are kind of jackasses. Sometimes they're very cool. They're the ones who created the turkey sore. The turkey oh, sore. Oh, there's one down here. Oh, there's one in this little... Yeah, underneath rock. Clove. So you can actually yeah. destroy it all. Can't get in. Ivan's ass, too big. Yeah, we're okay, going we're to good. an interesting impasse. Ivan is too heavy as he is. So I'm going to drop a few things. Move them over to Colin. Melvin just shat on me. Yeah, it comes with the territory. I try not to think too hard about a lot of this. <sighs> if, a lot of inventory management yeah. in this game. Yeah. Honestly, when he levels, I'm going to put a lot of it into carry. Because he's... Wow. Yeah. He's almost completely full. All right, so we're going to have Ivan follow us now. Rather than driving him. And I'll just ride along on a... Colin. All right. But keep your eyes open. This area should be, for the most part, safe, aside from the occasional carnosaur. But every now and then, an alpha raptor will spawn in this area. I only managed to kill one because it clipped into a tree. I used over a hundred crossbow arrows to the face. Damn. If you see one, it's kind of like the agents in the Matrix. You just run. I don't care. Though I did, right. I did actually bring a surprise just in case things are going bad. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. Oh, good, good. More harvest. Oh, that's what that is? That's what the, the actual color is? Yeah, yeah. That pale yellow. So far, so good. You're doing very well. He has a lot of things on him that he does not need. Yeah. For example, stone. Yeah, we can... Near where I am, we actually have this big peninsula just covered in stone. So it isn't really that big a priority to get that. I can always harvest that whenever I need. Well, he needs to be able to move. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold down. Okay, so Ivan's gotten lost in the collision detection. Oh, dear lord. I'm gonna go over... We lost the mammoth. Yeah, he's a little. Yeah, there you go. There you go, buddy. For 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 a mammoth with eyeglasses, he's not a very intelligent mammoth. I kind of went, I kind of went nuts because when I got the account or when I bought it, part of the uh, sale was this little glasses skin. So I've been putting it on all my dinosaurs. I like to believe one day when I find one for humans, I'll wear it too as a show of solidarity. Oh, okay, he's caught in the trees. Let me go knock those down. I actually fought a Bronto a while ago, 
So the stamina works differently. If you sprint, it slowly goes down. If you attack, it goes down in chunks. Things like that. Yeah. And you slow down, and you start taking, I think, torpor damage or something like that. To the point where if you eventually accrue too much of that, and you have no stamina whatsoever, your dinosaur will knock himself unconscious. Oh, oh. Oh, there's somebody at the door. I bet that's right. One moment. We'll just uh, leave out the part where we had the awkward introductions and door opening noises. No, I'm actually keeping that entire thing in. 100%. Oh. <laughs> well, Especially the part where you explained your cold twice. <laughs> I This has been a weird... Man, I was so strung out on allergy medicine. Half my dreams were in claymation last night. <laughs> it was weird. All right. So, uh... If you want, you could do a quick we're joined by kind of moment. Absolutely. We are joined right now by Ray, who just walked in the door. Ray is the voice actor for Adam Carlyle in Seaside Scoundrels in the podcast that myself and Dan do. Hi, Ray. Hello, Justin. Now, uh, this is like the second time me and you have actually talked in like the past year. I hear his voice all the time, but and I forget that I never actually talked to him. Right. Outstanding. Yeah, we're just uh, harvesting metal right now, Ray. Okay. Yeah, the reason Ray's over is because we're going to be hopping into the uh, studio right after this. Head cold, be damned. Because we're going to be recording for the uh, February episode of Seaside Scoundrels. Now, depending on when you listen to this, one has already launched as of, what, last Monday? Yeah. Yeah. We've, uh, we've got a special one in mind for all of you lovers out there for Valentine's Day. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a doozy. And head colds are for quitters. Yeah, head colds are for quitters. That's why Damn I, right. I'm working my way through an entire, uh, what is it? Through an entire uh, alley, like aisle in Walgreens of just new medicines and things to try to keep this good. Because I'll be in Houston next week. All right. Melvin cannot move. Yeah, just go ahead and drop a bunch of this out to Colin. I'm going to drop off some of the less useful things. We'll keep the crystal, because that's always handy. But Justin's going to be doing a few arc videos every now and then. One of our great projects will be to circumnavigate the island. And at some point, we're going to try to advertise the uh, the lighthouse lighting ceremony once, the, uh, once I have that all built up. Got to have as many people in the tribe go on, and we're going to do ridiculous aquatic-based challenges. Like a polite and well-behaved the dinosaurs are to just stay there and wait. They just stay there in their, in their glasses. I assume they're talking about Chaucer because they look intellectual. Of course. <laughs> talking about anything else would just be ridiculous. I just picture stuffy academic... I, I just picture Colonel Hoppy from the original from the original Jungle Book. That Winston Churchill blubbery English man voice on all of the dinosaurs. I, I cannot move. I can barely move. Oh, here, here. Feel free to throw a couple of these onto, uh, onto Colin, the trike. I tried, but you ran off. Oh. <laughs> Oops. We can't move. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, we came to realize that it's sort of like Bethesda rules. If you fill up completely, you can't move at all. But the last 80% of your encumbrance will just cripple your movement speed. It's not a All right, we're good. We're good. All right, good. Let's do a quick head count. How much metal do you have on our Melvin currently? None. Okay, good. I've got 167 here on Colin and hey, a random pink monster. They they happen. I, I tamed one and then I immediately regretted it because they're completely useless. Ugh, that thing is ugly. It, yeah, it, would you believe people mostly use those for fertilizer? If you feed it stimberries, it sort of has explosive diarrhea, basically. I accidentally killed something, and I don't know what. So so they made explosive diarrhea a mechanic in this game. Well, for that dinosaur, yes. And, and it also doubles as a resource. Yeah. Be you, um, you can use anything. Theoretically, If you yeah. believe in yourself. What was that line we're thinking about for the, um, for the Tea Party murder mystery we're doing in June? Anything's edible if you try hard enough. <laughs> Technically, that is correct. Yeah. I'm just going to try to stack everything more 
elegantly. And then we'll get to sorting on that. Uh, still have a few. I'll just drag it over at you. I don't even know where we are. I yeah. really hope you know the way home. Oh, yeah, I do. Actually, we're going to try a bit of a... You killed the little pig monster. I'm sorry. I, it couldn't be helped. Okay. It was too ugly to live. Here, we can go up this last leg of Metal Mountain. You can do a Lion King and get a nice little view out over there. And if you look across the river, in this valley to our right, you'll actually see the uh, base camp where we have most everything set up for Laura's group. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm paranoid. We have not been attacked by anything major in a while, and that worries me. I'm just waiting for a T-Rex, an incredibly lost T-Rex, to go just stomping through. Yeah, the, see that green light in the distance? That's uh, what Everything was... that the light touches is ours. No, that's no, the dinosaurs. The <laughs> oh, okay. Dinosaurs. This is the dinosaurs island now. Here, feel free to harvest a few more things. We can probably carry back a little more before the dinosaurs can't move at all. We can snails pace it across. This guy can hold maybe two rocks worth before he's a... Uh... Yeah, it's not a perfect system. We could get maybe a couple. I want to say the record on him is 600, and then we'll throw a little bit onto the trike and then crawl back. Don't worry about that. Well, that's what he's doing right now. Yeah. Now you drop all the rocks off of him. By the way, you, you can't swing a single limb without knocking over at least seven hats in this place. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, allow that to paint an interesting word picture for you at home. There's a, there's a wall of my apartment. No, <laughs> house now. House. That is just completely this is covered the house, house, Dan. Yeah. At some point, when we actually do the videos of the uh, pen and paper role-playing games, I often use the hats to play different NPCs. Which, incidentally, if we're doing another one at some point, um, we have uh, been going through Deadlands Noir, a big module for that. And ideally, when we get to a certain point, we're going to try to videotape that once we get some players all voice actors from the show use the system. Our plan is to do it in costume and do various gags and whatnot. The main, uh... Here, here, go ahead. Harvest it. I can't carry anymore. If no, I no. harvest that, I'm not moving. Yeah, put it on column. It's cool. I okay. Could this, I could do this whole thing on foot because I have a gun. I shouldn't say that out loud because that's... That's just asking for trouble now. Dan, you live in Texas. No, no, I mean, like, now that I've said I'll be fine, the dinosaurs can't hurt me, I've got a gun, will be the day that I just get swarmed by copies or something. Gun can't help you there. Nope. Actually, it went to a weird place during that. Alright, uh, here, let's, uh... Yeah, I, I haven't actually gotten everything off of him. Oh, jeez Louise, really? He has over 200 metal. That's brilliant. And Colin is right there. Okay, great. Yep. Perfect. I try to reposition him a bit. Let's give a look. We've got about a... A respectable right. 600 on Ivan. That's good. His encumbrance is close, but not completely over. And then we got Colin and Melvin, so I'm just going to whistle for them to follow me. And I'll walk you back the rest of the way. Oh. Alright. I don't know if this will actually show up in the sound, but you may have just heard me whistle. That causes all I the didn't. dinosaurs to... Oh, okay. So I guess it's only with uh, each player. But that causes all the dinosaurs that aren't currently being ridden to just follow my, my path that I'm going through. I was just noticing the care oh. in which my character is perched upon, uh... Thank you, Colin. So, yeah. The bugs are coming back. Let's keep our eyes open. And Colin yeah, is I can't, I can't really help oh, Colin he's here. He's... Oh my god, it's a spider! I, uh, did not know they attacked from above. It's a queen! Oh dear. Oh, thank you, dinosaurs. Okay. Dinosaur just kicked the queen spider into the stratosphere. Yeah, that's Colin, my favorite part. Colin is mounting Melvin. 
Don't don't worry about that. It's just you know. This is a beautiful age. part of nature. It's okay. Just go with it. All right. I, I not not while I'm no no no. Ivan can't be a part of this too. I this know. is not how this should be going. Don't die. Okay, go go. They're following. I'm gonna kill a few of these while we're here because I could use our resources. You can also see a couple of the bodies lying about, but right now, our main objective is to get back across the river. I spy me a carnosaur. Yeah. Oh. What I was going to say was I was noticing the care in which my character is perched upon this. There's like a spike within two inches of my crotch. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just shave that down if they're building a saddle for it. They just covered it in blankets and pretended everything was all right. That's, that's uh, not. That's not safe. That's not OSHA compliant. No, no. There's no law. Only arc. Now you. I can't move, and Collins attempting to charge into me. This is. There you go. There you this go. is just embarrassing. Yeah. The <laughs> oh lord. Okay, come on. Come on, Colin. Follow me. Move slightly to the side. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm just spinning in place. That's what I'm doing. I'm just going to remain as far away from you. And, Theoretically, and, if I do this And that right, horny-ass Triceratops as possible. If I do this right, I can actually steer, have one follow the other, but they're too encumbered, and I don't know any better of how that system works. So, you pull on ahead... And I'll walk beside you. There's a carnosaur right there. I would. I, know, I've got I would, but okay, fine. You know what? We're doing we this. Oh. Oh god. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. Yep. Oh wow, it might still be alive. Yep, it's still. It is. Better. It is. Go ahead oh. and run. Dude, I can't. <laughs> no, I was talking to the carnosaur. Oh. Yes. Well, he should run in fear now, of our I didn't caravan dinosaur orgy. This might be a problem later. I didn't pay attention. When you saw that uh, carnosaur, did you see a little heart over its head? No. Okay. That's good. A heart means they're made in pair, and she might just be running to get her husband. <laughs> <laughs> It's happened a few times. I've chased something off and thought like I was the big man. And then all of a sudden... <laughs> reinforcements arrived. Yeah, I think I see... I think I see the fort. Yep. Onward. To victory. Indeed. But yeah, we have such plans. Once uh, Ray's computer gets back up, he wants to join in with the group. We're going to try off a few tribe-based things. They're actually... um for lack of a better word, raids and such around here. These big underground caves that have various prizes and and uh, high-level gear in them. Please do. It is a lovely, lovely bunch of nonsense. Yeah. It looks like an extreme amount of fun. It is. Extreme. It's just I can't misuse that word enough. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah. It's like the 90s all over again. So over on your left, that there is the ranch. That's the first fortification that Laura and I built along with several others in the tribe. Jarrett, Bob, a few others. It's in a very good location. Yeah, we thought it would be handy. One of the fun things about it is that once set up like it is, creatures won't actually spawn nearby. So that area used to be completely forested over. Then we built a few structures and got through it all right. Now, let's move along the beachhead. There should be a shallow path up here. Let me see if the dinos follow me appropriately. No, they're, they're in combat right now. Oh, they're probably... <laughs> there was a dude. Wow, wow. Colin, Colin, calm down. Calm down, bro. I'm, I'm telling you about that horny triceratops. It's, it is not... It's not kosher. I love the little Team Rocket, like, launch that he does to anything that he hits. Alright, we're good. Also, Tori Coverals. I eat whatever I kill. It's fair. It's fair. Alright. 
So this area, you can see along the way we have a couple of uh, structures there. That was our original boat dock. Let's move closer to these rocks here. Theoretically, there's a shallow point. We can pull... We can pull an Oregon Trail and ford the river. I'm gonna go first. Because I'm equipped to take down Mega Prox. I think everything's fine. Okay, you, you dived and you were in, like, deep swimming. Like, you're, you're just, like imagine you looking very intense. Yes. Gritting your teeth. Oh, there's one. As you swim through two feet of water. <laughs> yep. Hey, I'm the team's Aquaman. I, I have one job. I might as well enjoy it. He is the master of both the deep ocean and the kiddie pool. Yep. Go. Good, good. Oh, no, 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 you don't, you jerk. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Your lighthouse loaded. Oh, good. Glad you saw it. I am. I am very impressed. I'm being attacked. Go hit it. It's cool. But uh, <laughs> I can't turn around. Oh my, Colin's helping you out. Melvin killed it. Hunter gatherer. It was basically oh, the name. Oh, what the hell the just hit me? I did. <laughs> Theoretically, that shouldn't have happened. Oh no, no, we're not gonna go up to the uh, to the ranch. We're actually gonna go over to my lighthouse. Alrighty. Because I could really use some healing right now. That's fine. Uh, I should have You're fighting an entire school of mega prana while on your knees underwater. Yeah, I don't know why I had to crouch down to go through the shallow end, but hey, I don't. I, I you don't tell me. Video how game rules, up. man. Yep. It's like in World of Warcraft. If you crouch down slightly, you're in stealth. All right. We're going to have to clear out a few areas. Actually, no, it looks like they're going to be ready to run over these. That's a problem with some of these creatures. They have the handling of an SUV. Good, good. All right, great. So up ahead is my project house, the lighthouse. I noticed you stopped building walls on the side after a couple floors. Yeah, I decided, well, they released the new Engram for glass walls for, um, for, what is it, uh, greenhouses. So I'm thinking oh, okay. I'm going to try to set in some glass areas so you can see around those. Also, yes, I did that because at one point it was just way too expensive. If you're looking to drop off stuff of your own, I have a surprise for you. Follow me up the stairwell. Is this going to involve shoving me off the, uh... Oh, lighthouse. Maybe. Shut up. <laughs> I made you a little apartment right here. Oh, thank you. You can use that as your box, and then you can use the bed as a spawn point. I think that might actually be one of my complaints about this game. Oh. I wish they'd expanded more on the whole primitive tools and technology thing, rather than, you know, it. I, I'm essentially looking at an industrial fabricator yeah. in the middle of a wooden lighthouse. To be fair, I did buy things in probably not the, well, I guess the most efficient order for what I needed. Every time you level, you get engram points that can be spent to unlock new uh, recipes, new engrams. Mm -hmm. And I kind of stripped out everything I didn't want and focused on all the things I did. So, which is why most of the lighthouse is made of wood while all this is set up. The electrical generator has only been this way for a fairly short amount of time, to be honest. I just recently got all this together. I may eventually change the whole lower level to stone, but the amount of resources to collect for the entire structure would just be impossible. Right. It works. You have about... Two, four, six, eight hundred in the smithy right now. Well, that's perfect. And another two hundred left on Colin. Perfect. Oh, great. We almost a thousand metal. That's great. I can make so many bullets. Oh yeah. You have a gun. It is my one superpower in this lawless prehistoric world. All right. So let's show off the uh, the ground level, I guess first. All right. 
So this area. I'm just getting a shot here of how far that skyscraper goes up. It's over 40 levels, like units of walls, vertical. All right, show me around. All right. So when you come in through the main door, I was very no frills in the beginning. I've got some storage over to the side here in my bed, a little mortar and pestle because I didn't know where to put it, and a few containers. Now these are. I tried to keep everything separated on its own side. These are all the early crafting things. So simple bed, simple box, a more advanced, larger crate. And then more this advanced box. Bigger box. Hey, I'll take what I can get. Over here is the uh, preserving bin, and that's why I use what I used to make jerky. And was our makeshift refrigerator for a while. Over here is our water tap, which I realize is extraneous because the water's right below us. But... And then I decided for intimate conversation, I built a little fireplace and two chairs. Of course. Yeah. It just looks absolutely cozy over here. And if you back up and watch your step, this is the path down to the garage. You can hop down there and meet Mr. Chompington. The garage. The shark parking. Shark park. There's Mr. Chompington. He sometimes swims out. You go grab him, mount him. And uh, bring him around. I'm going to go get his wife. Ophelia. Yeah, Ophelia. That was not my intent. Um, one of our buddies had already tamed another shark and just kept her here. He hasn't been on in a while, so I've just been feeding her too. And then when I looked away and he joined our tribe, you know, the two of them got the little heart, so they're made in pair. I'm thinking this is a better Regency romance novel than I, than I could have ever written. Oh, of course. All right. Now just bring him up into the shark parking. There you go. All right. You can hop off, and then just use the ladder to climb back over. You may notice he's fast. He just he turns like a boat. Oh, I can't operate the ladder. Just get close enough to it, it's and you can interact with ladder. it with E. Yeah, there you go. Ugh. I shut the trap door. <laughs> Give it a shot. There you go. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> Why is... am I being defeated by this ladder? It's an advanced ladder. Actually, I can make Fucking those out of hell. Hell. that helps. I don't know if it does. It's a level 13 ladder. I don't okay. mean to expedite this, but uh, the longer you're in there, the more likely piranhas are going to show up. Okay, nice and easy. Yeah, great. Uh, okay. The combat music just started. Yeah, don't worry. The sharks will take care of that. Sometimes you'll hear combat music, then all of a sudden you hear some biting sounds, and I just kind of not think about it. Over here is a little cooking pot, one of the earlier crafting um, tools that you can use. And you can here's a small cooking pot held together by sticks, and here is an industrial grill. Yeah, it's not the best system. I put this here by a little campfire to try to light the place more efficiently. Then all this happened. So... First off, we built the uh, in the forge, so I could start refining down metal and oil. The metal becomes metal ingots, the oil becomes gasoline. I then put all the metal in here, in the smithy, and then I could start building various things, like the refrigerator, the machining fabricator. I think the fabricator had to be made first, then the refrigerator, then the electrical generator, which is where I put all the gasoline. Then the industrial cooker, which... Where we make burgers. No, man, this is... Dino burgers. This thing is insane. <laughs> like, I'll show you, for comparison, the cooking speed between several... Actually, I have the ability to do that. Danger. So, normally, you a campfire only has, like, three spaces for meat. Two of those are going to have... Two of those are going to have to be the meat because you need to put wood or something in there as well. The wood burns, the food cooks at a fairly slow rate. This isn't even going to do it justice, but I don't care because I go to the... I get so much gasoline on my trips underwater that it's never really a priority for me anymore. If I remember my numbers, I have about 900 hours worth of electricity right now. You have a map? Yep. That map is going to be a, a major point that I'm going to use. Every area around here, eventually I'll mark them where I find underwater caves, oil fields, major resources. That way, huh. if I'm not around, someone can still use this to go out somewhere 
and get whatever they need to keep the uh, tribe running. Is that Herbivore Island over there? Yeah, yeah, Herbivore. Oh, we should make a trip to Herbivore Island one day. It's so lovely. Yes, I think I still have my house there. You probably do, unless uh, things grew over. They probably shouldn't by this point, but you never know. Yeah, or a brontosaurus yeah. stepped on it. But here, check this out. So this, the th I forget the exact speed at which meat is supposed to cook in a normal campfire. But I'm dropping in, uh, what is that, 29 meat? Oh, uh, no, 24 meat? 34 meat, sorry. Allergy medicine, leave me alone. It's totally fine. One gasoline, I'm turning it on. Don't turn it off, just access the inventory and watch how quickly that goes. Alrighty. My plan. I'm watching. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. <laughs> Give it a moment. Wait for him. It oh, damn. In stacks of 13. All right. And the plan is because of the really good cuts of meat, for some arbitrary reason, spoil sooner than others. We have to cut. Oh, up that the... would explain how I got primal meat earlier? Yeah, primal cuts, yeah. And it's gone. Yeah. It rots in like 15 minutes, probably less than that. So my plant and a lot of the plesiosaurs and when they eventually release the whales, those will have a lot of prime meat on them. We're going to go whaling. We're going to kill a giant sea monster, harvest all the prime meat, bring it back and put it on the fire, and then we eat like kids. Well, that's if it, if it expires that fast, we're going to have to put the cooker on, on the boat. Oh, no, no. It's a fairly good swim over, and it's only it expires fastest when a human's carrying it. When an animal is carrying it, it expires slower, actually. Oh, I don't know why. That. I guess it's supposed to maintain that we're very clumsy. Anyway. We're then, just, we're filthy. Yeah. And you can see over here the uh, electrical generator. Let me turn off the lights so you can see how well this place would be lit without it. Huh. Uh, let me get the other one. There you go. It's still got yeah, some that, good light. That really does brighten up the place a lot. Indeed. And at some going. points, like with certain weather effects, it gets pretty ridiculous. All right. Now let's head on up. I'll show you. Oh, oh. Let's show you the boat dock first. Through this door this is my little patio. Ah, the Irish Rover. The adventures we had on that, old friend. That's how we brought Newman back. Yep. We ganked him on the far end of the island and then just dragged him back against all odds. Over here is our feeding trough, and that's why I don't have to worry about feeding the animals. I'll just drop a bunch of things on here. And then they tend to eat piranha, just, you know, yeah, just, here and there. Just, just casually. All right. There's the door. Let's head up to the next level. And you can I see, see the wiring goes all the way up. Yep. My intent is to build another lantern so that we'll have the uh, light at the top of the lighthouse be completely electric. All right. That's awesome. Yeah. That way it'll be brighter. Up here is obviously just a new area I'm working on. You have your little apartment off to the side, etc., etc. And then up we go. Yep. Next stop here. This is my Pteranodon landing pad. Got oh. another light set up for it. Laura comes by from her uh, forward base up in the north and resupplies with oil and such that I leave in the box over here. Ah. Yeah. Pin coded to the tribe and everything. Let's see. And then along the other way is just a small patio. I might add something over here besides the light. I'm not sure what yet. But you can bet I'll do something ridiculous at some point. I'll put some chairs out there, yeah. a nice grill. It'll it'll be a wonderful place to, uh, you know, oh have God. guests over. You just put a campfire there? With the <laughs> now, it's going to be a while. Theoretically, you're going to run out of stamina if you sprint the entire way. So good luck on that. Da, 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 Every ten da, levels, da, da, da. I left this space blank just to remind me and to be a jumping point. <laughs> Remember that level in Final Fantasy VII where you could choose to go in through the front or run up the stairs? Forever, yeah. I always ran up the stairs. It, it, it's hilarious. Also, you see the area here where I've decided not to waste the extra walls. Yeah, 
Just enough so you don't fall off accidentally. Yep. Instead of falling off intentionally, which apparently, which if I lived here, uh, would happen very often. It happens. Don't worry too much. We should be at 20 levels now. I feel like Rocky going up the stairs. Yeah. Well, just, just, just wait a little longer. This thing's going to take a while. I still see the bottoms of some of the trees outside. I can't access my torch. It might be my torch. But yeah. My idea is to build this all the way up. Eventually, if I get it, I'll just build an elevator that takes me all the way up. That would be a godsend. Yeah. I've tried flying to the top and it's Ramadan. Whenever you dismount certain smaller dinosaurs, you just hop off of them. So I've plummeted to my death like three times. <laughs> Which is a problem because now I forgot the parachutes. Don't worry, just aim for the water, you'll be fine. Yeah, there's no way that my organs would liquefy upon impact. No, not after a 40, 40 floor drop. That's only 400 feet, you wimp. I wish, I don't know if there is a way to figure out vertical, like sea level distance. Alright, careful now. This is where I ran out of resources and we're still in construction. I recommend hugging the wall. Oof. Oof. Alright, I'm getting like vertigo in real life now. Yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate. But, oh, this is a great spot to see the oh, sunset. Oh, wow. Whoa. When you look off to the uh, right, you'll see where the sun will usually rise. Oh, I see Herbivore Island. Yep. Actually, uh... <laughs> Actually, Quinn has a small settlement somewhere over there, and I never realized I saw his house all this time. It's in the little, uh, the little inlet K over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the main idea is that I'm going to build this until I'm literally looking over the tops of the trees out Metal Mountain. Damn. I want it to like, be taller than that. And is there even is there even a cap to like? Theoretically, is there, there a ceiling? Is. There's a vertical ceiling. But I will probably never reach it on this. They do it for flying creatures. Ah. Um, the main thing, I'm going to try to get to 50 levels, maybe 60. Then I'm going to build the light beacon up there and set that up. And then maybe set up an area with a bunch of spy glasses so you can look at. That would be very helpful. This is in a nutshell. And look at that sunrise. It def I definitely love the, sun the lighting effects in this game if you can process it high enough. Yeah. Tree level, like the tree cover, gets it as dark as night sometimes. It's pretty fun. This thing really gives you a good scale of how big this island is. Like, if, if you look, you, where, you know, that whole trek that we made, Yeah. it's really not that far. Not at all. Like, we're at the top of that mountain right in front of us. Yeah. It and then a, we just went back. It took a two day travel by boat to get us to Herbivore Island. And yeah. then to you see that spire to my to the uh, west over there. That area has I want to say that was a two day trek to get around that spire into another area that wasn't even the full east coast or the full west coast. What are around the spires? Have you been to the bottom of one? Yeah, I went around them. Apparently they have a node where you can put things from bosses you defeat. There's some bigger overarching story about summoning monsters and and killing them and so forth. We're eventually going to try that in a raid one day. Anyway. Hey, sounds fun to me. So this here, I believe, is the 50th level. I see a turtle over there. Yeah, there's two down there. They are benign. I'm just going to see if I can jump <laughs> and make it to it. Yeah. All right. Get after it. Go, man, go. That fell short of that turtle, but I'm over near the oil oh, node. Clear. That's a pretty quick trip trip to oil. There's only well, one here. I'll take it to the big field eventually. All right. Well, let's make our jump, shall we? Good luck. Sit. Go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now swim like swim like a bastard right back to the shore. 
because I don't know how good your oxygen consumption is. Um, it's halfway decent, you know. Okay, it's good. Uh, it's, it's nothing to write home about. But yeah, this is uh, one of the more basic levels to set up for the game. One day I'll teach you how the structures work. If you look down here, I just got foundations and put up little pillars of wood. Then oh, built yeah. ceilings and structures so that it's basically a big raft standing. A big platform out over the water. Nice. It was initially an intent to keep the sharks safe and enclosed. But then I realized there's no point in keeping Mr. Choppington safe and enclosed. He's a shark. Yeah, no. You keep things safe from him, not the other way around. I'm not locked in here with you. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much the long and short of it. Uh, well, this this is... was a lot of fun. I enjoyed I enjoyed the journey and the tour of the new and improved lighthouse. I'm looking forward to its completion. Yep. We'll set up a few more events in the future. The circumnavigation, the trip over to uh, to Herbivore Island. I'll even get you to ride Mr. Choppington. Theoretically, if I ask uh, the guy who tamed Ophelia, we could probably borrow both sharks and swim over. Just keep your head yep. above water. That sounds great. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I think with that, I'm going to uh, end this episode here. Thank you, Dan, for giving me the tour around uh, Ark Survival. No Evolve. problem at all. Again, I quite like the game. There are some complaints I have. Mostly the devs are very cruel with what they create, but I like where it's going. If you see it on a Steam sale, go for it. Be absolutely, oh, absolutely. afraid of any holiday or seasonal event. Turkeys yeah, no. were invincible. I'll explain that later. <laughs> all right. Well, to everyone else, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and take care, everybody.